Happening today, Monterey County supervisors voting to ban single-use tobacco and e-cigarettes in unincorporated areas of Monterey County. KION's Anna Torreya live for us outside of the Monterey County supervisors building with how local smoke shop owners, they're reacting, plus details on the ordinance. Anna. Good evening, Veronica. This is the ordinance that supervisors are looking to strengthen um, today. Now, this ban would go into effect and it would impact un unincorporated areas of Monterey County like Moss Landing, Castroville and Prunedale. Some parts of Monterey County could see flavored tobacco products removed, which some people say is a good thing. I absolutely think that's an important thing for the county to do right away because flavored tobacco is a terrible thing for kids. Those in favor of the ban say it will help keep those products out of the hands of kids and teenagers. So if you could keep it out of the hands of kids and it doesn't, you know, get into their brain, little brain synopsis before they're, you know, 18 years old. And Anything the county can do to stop that from happening, I'm completely and 100% for. I spoke to one smoke shop owner here in Castroville. Now, he didn't want to go on camera, but he told me that this ban would definitely hurt his business. The owner of this smoke shop tells KION he has thousands of dollars worth of products in his shop. And if the ban goes into effect, he won't know what to do with it. He also says his customers come as far as Santa Cruz. Some say the ban won't keep flavored tobacco out of the hands of kids or teens. I don't think that it would. I think that the demand is already so high and in order for that to happen, in order for it to be more regulated, it would have had to happen when it first started to make its introduction way back, you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago. Unfortunately, it didn't, so now we're in the situation that we're in now. The county says this ban supports the health department's initiative to enhance public health and safety through prevention. Now, since this ordinance passed, it will take 30 days for it to take effect. Reporting live in Salinas, Anna Torreya, KION News Channel 546. Well, back in 2021, Monterey County supervisors, they adopted an ordinance that established licensing requirements for tobacco shops.